take a look at the main control panel now. The cabin light switches, the system monitor which lets you know levels. There's your LP you have left, that's your fresh water you have, these are empty now, black water, and the gray tank are empty right now but they'll tell you how much you have. Water heater, electric or gas, I almost always use electric. Water pump only needs to be turned on when you're accessing your fresh water tank. This driver's side light is good for after dark hookups of your water, electric, and sewage, which are on that side of the RV. And this is your slide in, slide out for your banquet. In the top right corner is the generator switch. You press the prime button, light goes on, try the start. If it does start, the hour meter locks in, but didn't hold that time. It usually takes two or three times. Prime it, start it, not yet. It's been cold, so two or three times. Prime it, start, and you see the hour meter, that means the generator is on. Here's the voltmeter for the two cabin batteries that are under the steps as you enter the cabin, powered by the solar panel on the roof and the engine when running. Below the control panel is the thermostat, which controls air conditioning and the furnace. Tap the mode button. First thing that comes up is the fan. Leave it on auto, even though you can scroll through low and high. Next button goes to air conditioner and then the furnace, which again you can change the thermostat temperature by the up and down arrows. Throughout the cabin we have vents on the floor, our black vents for the furnace, and on the ceiling you'll find white vents for the air conditioner. 